Yesterday, I revealed to you in a video that a report has been leaked to the Daily Te Telegraph, which details the fact that Sadiq Khan and TFL have misled the public over the benefits and advantages of ULES, and particularly the expansion. Well, when I read this, I thought, this isn't going to go unchecked. I leave a link uh, in the description below so you can go and check out that video from yesterday. You let me know what you think. Well, another news article has appeared, and they're having none of it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. Good to see you. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as always. Keep up to date with everything that happens here. Now, Sadiq Khan and TFL are a bit cheesed off with this report that seems to have come out detailing how they jointly misled the London public over the benefits of the ULES expansion. This comes from the Advertising Standards Authority that said, hang on, Sadiq, you might have told a few porkies here. And uh, no, it's... Uh, it's not gone down too well. Another report has uh, come out today, and I'll show you this one now. Row breaks out over claims Sadiq Khan misled London public over the ULES scheme. And there's a little video there, but we won't play that. It's believed TFL will strongly challenge the draft conclusions by the Advertising Standards Authority. Uh, a row... Get out of the way. Thank you. Has broken out after a draft report by the watchdog claimed Sadiq Khan misled the public about the benefits of the ultra low emission zone. They launched an investigation into claims made by TFL that is chaired by Mr. Khan in advertisements about the ULES, which expanded across all London boroughs on the 29th of August. The adverts, which were broadcast and published between January and June, claim the existing ULES had almost halved levels of nitrogen dioxide and that most air pollution-related deaths actually occurred in outer London. But a draft of the conclusions leaked found that the ULES adverts were misleading because they did not clarify that claims about NO2 levels were based on estimates or modelled scenarios and not actual figures. Now, this has come out already in the wash, hasn't it? Because there was another report commissioned by TFL by, I think it was one person. So, hooky figures as well. Uh, not great. Now, I think there's going to be more of this to come, more revelations and more things to learn about this whole situation. And meanwhile, we've got people like Noel Wilcox who are trying to hammer over this to do something about this. In fact, I'll show you a tweet in a video tomorrow. He was actually compared to a lawyer with the amount of knowledge that he's got on this situation and the fact he's going to do something about it. So it's going to be quite a messy affair for months to come. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you share. Share everything. Why not? And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.